Hello, this is Brian with 7 and All, and welcome back. I did a first video on doing some mods to my Ender Creality Ender 3 version 2 3D printer. And at the end of it, I mentioned wanting to do some more in the future. And so I uh, want to show you what else I've done. Most of these are pretty simple and pretty easy. And they're just my way of getting started. And hopefully they encourage you to also uh, practice making some mods to your 3D printer. Well, you may remember uh, there was a QR code over here and it was starting to peel off. The sticker was peeling off and uh, it really didn't need to stay on. I wasn't sure what would be behind it, so I did throw that away, but it was nice and all black there. So that was a pretty easy uh, fix and uh, modification. From last time I had started doing the blue uh, profile, aluminum extrusion profile rails, and I wanted to add in some more here that uh, were in the center so that nothing gets, uh, no pieces of plastic fall down into the center either. Um, and also they kind of just complement the other blue extrusion rails that were there. Again, these are available on Thingiverse. And so you can just uh, follow the link that we give in the description and download it. Uh, you might need to resize it. So the different sizes go uh, well for different pieces. And that was a really long piece. So I made it in two parts just to fill that in. Um, I wanted to also just close up some of the other gaps. As you can see, there's some holes drilled out here uh, that look kind of not so nice and I wanted to add in uh, pieces that were on this beam and the top beam here um, and I wanted to go with a contrasting color so I just decided to go with uh, or a complementary co color I decided to go with uh, red and make some pieces that would fit in on the x-axis beam and the top beam across the top there and I kind of like how it turned out as kind of a complementary color to the blue and those fit in nice again closing up the little holes that are behind there uh, just making it look cleaner there were some other holes too so on the z-axis uh, there's a couple holes drilled in here that don't look so nice and on the other side of it, there's some holes drilled in here. This is from the first version where the power supply was set behind it. And then you would uh, put your bolt in through these holes. Uh, I didn't like the look of those holes being drilled in and being unfinished like that. As well as at the very bottom uh, would be again places where some plastic could drop in and get stuck in there and maybe uh, just build up in terms of debris. So I just went with black this time and <clears throat> same same profile piece but uh, this time just being in black I decided to uh, not make it uh, one of the blues or the reds but just uh, make it all in black. That way it could just um, kind of blend in and not show up so much uh, but at least kind of close off the piece kind of just need to be careful slide it in behind that switch there and on down and again they snap it right in so it has a real nice fit there and then it just closes off everything and, and blocks that little uh, hole that's there um, I had seen where somebody had made a little part to fit in the little gap where the uh, belt tensioner fits. So I took some measurements and made it and this one fit in nice. It's a little loose. Um, I thought they were the same size and I was printing a part at that time so I wasn't able to check and I found that that part didn't quite fit in this part so I had to just cut a little part of it off there and then it kind of fits in nice and tight. Um, again it just keeps from any dust or anything building up in there, uh, any debris falling in. 
And again with the blue it looks nice, it complements the colors nicely. There's another piece on Thingiverse which goes on the top of the Z axis screw. Uh, I printed the piece. It had described it printed at 98%. I printed that one and it did not fit on here. So I had to size it up a little bit and then I printed this piece at about 102%. Uh, so maybe the size has changed from when it was first uploaded. Uh, again, it kind of just protects the end of that Z uh, axis screw, uh, but also gives you a nice turning knob. So if you want to raise or lower it, uh, instead of pushing up on the bar like I did before, you can just turn this up and down now uh, very easily with this Z axis knob. So pretty easy to uh, do, just try to get the right size there. Uh, so, uh, I also just kind of don't like these labels uh, being there. I don't want to peel them off, I want to keep them. So I just made a little cover uh, with a little bit of sticky tape and just a little bit of a edge there. So with that, I could just uh, set it in place and the tape holds it down and voila! It kind of cleans up the look and um, doesn't cover a whole lot of it because uh, I know that there is heat underneath there so that will be need to escape uh, as well. Okay, so then just a few more uh, mods which are mostly aesthetic. Uh, since it's kind of a black theme with some of the color standing out, I kind of didn't like all of these uh, bolts and nuts that were bright silver and so I started designing some simple little caps and this was kind of fun to try to take measurements of the bolts and nuts and then to make a little part uh, in my design program and then to print them of course on the 3D printer and those were snug and fit in place but at least it kind of just gave it a nice black look instead of the bright silver uh, bolt and nut uh, putting the little cap over it made it just look kind of uh, very blacked out. Uh, this was a little bit harder because it's got just a, a rounded head um, and then has just a uh, hex driver inside and these are a little hard to get to stick in place but thankfully they're sticking right now and again it just uh, uh, cleans up the look gives it kind of that uh, blacked out matte finish look to it. And then for a couple more, these are all of course dis different sizes, different bolts, but um, pretty easy just to make a little cap from uh, measurements and to fit these in place. Um, these uh, are resting in there and that's good enough. So um, glad that it kind of all fit in place. Uh, we just uh, are taking baby steps maybe here. I know there's a lot more mods that can be made. And um, for right now, just getting experience. Hopefully you're uh, giving it a try too to try out some mods. Um, we, uh, we know that some people are following us and uh, mentioned trying to get a 3D printer of their own. So I've made this permission slip and you can print this off. We are giving you a blank permission slip that you can print off and fill in your name. And it says that you have permission to purchase a 3D printer and make mods to your 3D printer. It's from 7 and all. It's very official. So feel free to download this and print it off and show it to whoever may need to see this that you have a permission slip. Well, if you like the video, please give it a like. If you uh, want to know when new videos come out, please hit the subscribe button. And again, thanks for watching. Glad to have you uh, be a part of this. And so uh, give a like to 7 and All Makes. That's our channel here. And uh, please subscribe as well. Thanks. Bye-bye.